Public transit is a necessary part of any thriving city, but with news of recent violent attacks, some riders are reconsidering their commute. A 16-year-old boy was killed in Toronto this weekend, stabbed in a random attack in a subway station. And Toronto is not the only city seeing headlines about violence on public transit systems. For more this morning, we are joined by CTV News public safety analyst Chris Lewis. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. I want to start in the city of Toronto. The Toronto Transit Commission recorded over a thousand violent incidents in 2022. That's a 46% increase from the year before. What needs to be done to make transit safer in our biggest city? We've seen police added and then removed as one step. Well, you know, the, the, what we're seeing in the transit system is really what we're seeing across society right now. And that's an increase in homelessness, addiction issues, mental health issues. And of course it manifests itself in a place like the subway system. Uh, because it's almost like a living city in itself. And particularly in Canada during cold months, it attracts more and more folks. And so we're seeing that at a crisis level in major cities right across Canada. And, and so it's a huge issue, but it requires short-term and long-term strategies. In the short term, it requires visible security, more security, more police working together to make people safe and to make people feel safe. And then society as a whole has to deal with these issues right across the country and more investment in mental health issues, addiction and homelessness, etc., to prevent this sort of thing from bubbling even further than it has. Chris, you touched on this. It's not just the city of Toronto. Transit union reps in Saskatoon, for example, have reported a jump in driver assaults. In January, two bus drivers in Edmonton had guns pulled on them. And then in the city of Calgary, two people were stabbed very recently. Last year, a woman was hurt in a hatchet attack. What's leading to this increase in violence across, this, across the country? Is it just this lack of, of public supports? Well, I think a part of it is that, of course, the president of the Canadian Transit Union has spoken publicly about this as well. And in Halifax and Montreal and Vancouver and on and on, it's, it's, it's a growing issue. But we're seeing this sort of thing growing in other areas as well, like just in city, city streets where young girls are suddenly attacking and stabbing somebody. I mean, it just this is a crisis situation really on a mental health perspective, I think largely. A large, a large amount of an addiction related it as well and so these are huge issues for society at the time that we see less investment in mental health and addiction issues and some cities are actually you know legalizing or, or uh, hard drugs like cocaine and crack and so are we handling this right as society becomes the issue and then we're seeing more of it in the transit system so it requires a real Canadian strategy and we're not seeing the investment at this point. You know we were talking about this story yesterday in our news meeting and people who've ridden the subway all their life are saying it is a very different experience now. They sit only with their backs uh, to the wall. It is quiet on the platform. People are are standing away from the tracks. It has changed how they feel about a necessary mode of transit. A recent poll by Nano shows that six in 10 Canadians feel less safe while they're on their daily commute. What's it going to take for people to start to feel confidence in this transit system? Well, if it, we don't see more security, like the Toronto Police put more in the transit system, obviously it was well publicized and then that went on for so long and it was pulled. So what was the impact of that at the time? Uh, less violence, I'm sure. I don't know the stats off the top of my head. So without uniform visible security, uniform visible police officers, they're present. People aren't going to be safe and they're certainly not going to feel safe and, and the transit system is going to take a financial hit. So why not put the investment up front on their part by more visible security and, and police services are going to have to play their role as well because it's bigger than just security. So it's a big issue, uh, Anne-Marie and one that we'll be talking about for some time if we don't see a lot of changes immediately and in the long term. Imagine we'll be checking in with you again. Thanks, Chris Lewis. Thank you, Henry. Have a great day. You too. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.